Hello everybody, welcome to Quick Play, I'm Retromage and this is Distrust. What is Quick Play? It's a series where I'm going to go in and play the game for about 20 minutes. Give my first impressions and help you discover if you want to get the game for yourself. I did play the tutorial already, but on to Distrust. What is Distrust? It is, well, it's kind of like a isometric horror survival. Like, I think there's light horror elements, light supernatural elements, but I've not gotten to that point. But we will just show off the game. A lot of people are comparing it to, like, this war of mine. Uh, but I'm going to go with the easier difficulty for this. But you know what? One thing that I really like already is that it shows you exactly... Like, the menu is the place to be straightforward. <laughs> this is such a silly nitpick, but uh, it, I like it. You can unearn every achievement. You can unlock every character. It contains a secret ending. Like I like that they just tell you just right off the bat... Yeah, the menu's not a place to be, y'all. It's secretive. Okay. So we have two free slots. We can pick two characters out of these three. James Abrams, Irma Dillinger. Okay, so they each have a little expert polar explorer. Needs fewer planks to kindle a furnace. And generators work longer when he fuels them. Okay. This character grows hungry slower. That sounds nice. I'll go with... Irma. And who else? Eas easily tolerate low temperatures, especially while wearing a jacket. Me too! Especially when wearing jacket. Let's go with, uh... That guy. I like his, I like his sweater. Okay. Let's give it a go. But the, the game has kind of, kind of got like an interesting art style to... There was like a very slight cutscene that just... Kind of loosely explained things in the beginning. That it kind of has this art style and it moves the characters around. I mean, there might even be one here. That moves the characters around in a, in a very, like, I, I'm tr almost like a s smooth stop motion. And I know that's just animation. But, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I, I, I like it. Despite, it's not technically the most visually pleasing style for me. But I find it really admirable, the art style. It's, uh... They got it right, you know, like these characters right here. It's kind of basically them just moving out. Oh, okay, moving around. All right, so we are on a crash little landing here. Can control both characters. So we're going to be just trying to do a little bit of exploring. You know, standard, uh, you know, survival game ideas. Like we need to make sure we have enough food. We need to make sure we have enough sleep. We need to make sure we're warm. Uh, but for now, like, do we have an objective? Find passage to the next zone. Next zone being... I have no idea. Oh. I, okay, so if I click right there... Okay, that doesn't really tell me. That's alright. Let's go back to where we are. We'll just kind of grab some stuff for now. And the fun thing is, you know, you can multitask. Can rotate the camera around, scroll around, all that simple stuff. Okay. How long does it take to pick up some coal? Okay, so I don't know if we need to really fuel this furnace right now. It seems relatively warm in here, as is. And this generator over here is running, which means we've got electricity. One interesting thing that I noticed is um, if you're in a, a lit room... Well, I mean, no, they straight up tell you in the tutorial. Uh, if you're in a lit room, you can run. If you're not, you can't. And it kind of makes sense, actually. All right. We couldn't wait for you. The anomalies are out of control. Mitch and I left instructions for how to fight them in the next medical unit. They're the result of careful observations, so follow them to the letter. Alas, this is the end for me. I'm going to sleep, never to wake up. Oh. Okay. What luck? There must be keys that unlock... These must be the keys that unlock doors on the base, but which key goes with which door? I don't know. Alright, so wait. Do we find the keys in... Did you not switch... Oh, okay, that's just the letter. Okay. So we can't zoom out any further than this. I suppose we just sort of... Start to... Uh, oh, passage to the next... Area. So I think maybe this is going to be the door to the next area. We can kind of just go. <laughs> oh man, I, I I find these characters 
the character model is really kind of charming, actually. Okay. Oh, I like that around the uh, the frame here. Okay, so who has the keys? Oh, we all have the keys. And we have a light jacket that we can put on. Do the job when nothing else is available. They're both about just as warm as each other. Okay, so she's got the... He... I don't know. Actually, if we give her the jacket, then maybe she... She just won't have to worry as much about warmth and the hunger. Let's just call it hunger. Um, I left the key of this package in an old jacket in my private quarters. I'm going to get it, then return. Don't wander off. In my private quarters. Is this not it? How could you forget your key? I'm going to have to find the cabinet. Don't we have it? Okay, so I guess that's just a more specific key. Yeah, alright. So it's a more specific key. Let's uh, let's get inside, because our warmth is going quick. Can we make both of, both of them move at the same time without having to switch between them? Okay, look. first of all, let's get inside. Let's get our warmth back up. Just for a moment, because there should be... Yeah, there's heat for a long time in here. You can see that little radial bar there. Going around the circle as soon as that runs out, I I imagine it turns off. Okay, personal quarters. I would assume it's gonna be one of these bed ones. The only one that's wait, maybe. Maybe we'll try that one. It's locked, but I bet you we have the key for it. She's already warm enough. He is. So, alright. Book it. We're going the right way. I don't know if when we rotate the map, if it rotates the um we are not going the right way. When we rotate like this, it doesn't rotate the uh, the map screen. Okay, we're going the right way now, though. Alright. Door where? Door? There. Okay. So now we have to try uh, all the keys, I bet. Oh, man. Honestly, I should have just had her... Actually, she's she's going to be fine. He might have some warmth issues. You know what? Can we... Uh, we can. I like that... Oh, I like that a lot. Look at that. That actually puts the jacket on the model. That's such a... I know that's such a silly little thing in theory. But I think that that's really fun when you actually have an inventory system. Yeah, I probably really shouldn't have her just sitting here, but... When you have an inventory system and you can equip items, just such a simple thing as far as, like, visually putting the jacket on the character, that goes a long way in, in, in feeling a little bit more, uh, I don't know, more dynamic. You look there. You look... Come on. Boy. Is it because I'm not... There we go. All right. I'm, I'm not used to playing a lot of games where you have this kind of multitasking stuff, so I'm not going to be awesome at it, but uh, I hope the coolness of the game... And I think, I think I'm think i having, like, a pretty good time with it. We got an axe! Hot dang! Boiler room door, we should probably go f open that. Is this door already open? Okay, that door is already open. So you open that, and we'll search everything in here. No, we won't. Because there's nothing to search in there. It's a nice chair. It looks like my chair. Okay. So yeah, that's going to take a while. But we don't really want to go outside because then we're going to have to start dealing with the warmth. Uh, I, and I, I don't know. I guess I'll take this time to mention a little something. And that's the, the difficulty levels. There are two difficulty levels. And, um, I mean, as you saw in the beginning. but I, And I've heard through other people that the... Harder difficulty is supposed to be, like, really, really hard. But, uh, I don't know. I, I, th like I said, I'm not really uh, one to play games like this, but there's something that is charming and feels pretty darn polished about this, this game in particular. What is this sheet on the door for? I see no, I see no point to that. Also, <laughs> I'm glad that they don't make it so you can uh, use the keys in two places at once, even though that would be convenient. Well, there's a little something here to... There. 
but I, like the the visuals to it are relatively simple, but they work well. Grindstone. What is this? Basically, oh, okay, okay. You cabinet. You unlock other door. You can't do that with your hands. Bad news: the cabinet is locked. I'm gonna need a lock pick or a crowbar. I don't think we have either of those. But I, I've heard that um, there's some randomized elements to this uh, as a uh, traditional roguelite may lead you to believe. And I think this is... It's... The the term for that genre has become so so warped, but it has permadeath, has random elements, um, and I don't know. I don't know past that. Because <laughs> that's basically become the bare minimum. If it has that, you can just call it a roguelite. But, uh, okay. Broken bed. You need a tool. Okay. Hopefully, oh, gosh. Those creatures are man-eaters. People are going to sleep and never waking up. We're trying to stay awake. I hope it keeps us safe. Oh, so is that actually... When he, the guy said that on the, uh, in the other room, it actually meant that. Like, uh... I'm going to sleep never to wake up. So I guess maybe these are aliens that actually cause you not to wake up from your sleep or something, I guess. So we don't have whatever we need to fix this broken bed. What would it, what would we use to fix that? That's a tool. I don't know. Okay, so there's not really much in here we can do, unfortunately. I say we just give this a shot up here. Let's scout out where the door is so we don't have to be outside very long. But we're actually running out of stamina, so we're going to need to sleep. And to do that, we're going to need to fix the freaking bed. So, that's not great. So what's this here? That, oh, that's our map. Our tools. Yeah, an axe isn't really going to... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Head back, head back, head back. I remembered something. Oh. If you have an axe... You can break down uh, crates, I thought, to get some firewood. Places out of reach. Never mind. I really thought that that would be able to uh, be chopped. Guess not. I guess it's a... Girl! Come on! Get in. Get in. I'm going to get you in. Oh, no. Can I transfer my jacket from all the way over here? Hooray! <laughs> Cigarettes, all have its eye hard, especially bad ones. While these might enhance somebody's mood, they'll also make them hungry. So where's mood? Is that just uh, a little something extra? Oh, let's read these bios here. Oh, these are the things that they said before. Olaf is the head of housekeeping, which makes him the most important person on the base. Without him, the Arctic would be unbearable. He has 15 years of experience in his line of work and can operate a variety of mechanisms with his eyes closed. All right, and a successful polar expedition requires different kinds of experts. Irma is a psychologist. Her training allows her to remain relaxed and focused in the most critical situations. Irma loves to be a gr in great physical shape. Moreover, she prefers to eat light and can suppress the feelings of hunger for a long time. She doesn't look very happy. Also, can we talk about this visual right here for the modest rations? That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, my one thing is... Okay. Never mind. That actually... That solves that one issue I had. So you can just rotate like that. I'm assuming the large part is the direction you're facing. So... Am I correct? Okay, yeah. Alright, alright. That solves that minor issue I had there. Maybe I, I probably shouldn't be taking them outside, but I think it's going to be just fine. As long as this place is lit up and has, uh, or at the very least, has a furnace running. Also, speaking of minor touches, I don't know that the flashlight actually does anything. So it's really kind of just fun and it's like a fun little bonus that you can uh, flash it around like this. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it does do something if there's some kind of, I don't know, I don't even want to take a wild swing. Okay, here we are. Seems warm. Yep, it's warm. This looks like the kind of room that would have some uh, tools in it, but... 
Not so. Oh, we can cook something up. There we go. That's a good idea. You do the cooking. Is that... Not, not just because you're a woman. That was <laughs> coincidental. Alright, deep freezer. I'm assuming there's probably something else we can cook up in here. Frozen veggies. You know what? Equal opportunity. Your turn, mister. And then... Oh, man. The one thing is that it, it takes quite a long time to open up the doors. I mean, I know that's part of it. And a lot of these survival games... A big na like a big part of the game... The name of the game is Patience. But there we go. We got some food. Now we got to take some time to eat it. Who is... You're hungrier, of course. You get to cook your vegetables. Bow! Put it in his in his stomach right <laughs> directly. Can cure a multitude of illnesses. Grindstone. So this grindstone and I don't know about the, not the coal. Uh, the grindstone is for if your weapon or item or wh whatever it, it starts to become worn down. You can repair it. You know, sort of, sort of crafting e without being too crafting y um, And then, let's see what's this? There's a gas can. The gas cans you can find to fill up the generators, and there's coal to fill up the furnaces. Look at me taking a little meal. I think we searched everything here now. It's not a nice looking sink. Definitely would not be getting clean if you if you use that sink. So this is the kitchen. This is kind of just the place to go to gather some food, I guess. Oh, there we go. We got some more coal. But yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased. Like it, like I said, for the third time, I haven't played a lot of games like this, so I don't have tons to... Oh, God. Ew. They did a good, did a good job making those uh, not appetizing. S search far away from them. But yeah, it's it seems charming. It seems very polished from what I've seen. I like the art to it. The music is everything it needs to be for a game like this. God, we need to find a bed. Not gonna be one in a in a kitchen, I would assume though. Here, I'll send you all the way up here. Will I? Oh, is there a not not a door? Okay, a not a door. Okay, but yeah, yeah, the music is everything it needs to be. It's like light it's understated it's not gonna get annoying after a long time it's so it's completely passable like you don't want anything with a loud repeating melody to it it's kills the mood but i mean yeah interface simple like not clunky at all everything makes sense i just i got a lot of good things t to say about the game so far and i'm 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 interested this is like as far as games in the genre go this one has excited me more than a normal one. We're getting really lucky with uh, everything. All the furnaces being, oh hell yeah, on already. I'm imagining this takes a long time. It does. Actually, it takes about as long as opening the. What the hell? Is this something to do with the aliens or what's up there? You come in here and check this out. Maybe. I don't know. I kind of want to find out what happened since we are nearing the end here. F open the cabinet. Oh, did that change to say open the cabinet? So that must mean we're in the correct building. But I've really got to know if this guy's going to die because... This is interesting. I bet you, you know what? I think the supernatural elements, I think the aliens are in fact like... Just paying attention to these people. I don't know. Are we going to die? If we die, we die. But I really like that that look to it. If I let them sleep all the way. Are they gonna, and they slowly fade away. That That's neat. That's a neat little touch. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. And I, I like the, the idea of the, the aliens having sort of like this... Special ability of some sort there. The hell's the cabinet? Why did it switch to say inspect open the cabinet? I probably missed something and then there's actually like a cabinet in a, another room. 
Did we just fail to open? I'm, but I'm not seeing it. Unless it always said open the cabinet. Was there a cabinet we missed here? I like that we get to see uh, the places we've already been. That's convenient. Locked key, isn't it? No. We need a lock pick. That's probably it, though. The crowbar. I think that's likely it. But, let's see. We've gone through, oh, we've cleared out all those. So the big thing would be going all the way back down here, but that is a trek and a half. Let's see if we can make it. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute. You stay, you go. There we go. I mean, it helps a lot that uh, he won't have to actually open this door. Good night. Okay, so we can double tap these to switch to the... Oh, man. Gimme jacket. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, the UI is simple. There's not an... Wait. The... Okay. All right. I'm going to... I'm going to watch this. I'm going to let this happen. For the sake of experimentation. You are... Can it go through walls? I assume yes. This does not strike me as the kind of thing that would be limited by, uh... Oh, jeez. Keep the generators running. So if the generator runs out, I bet ya... There's two glow balls now! You're gonna die, girl! <laughs> I do, I just, I do, for the sake of, uh, I bet you, you know what, we're gonna wake up and they're gonna go away. Anomaly is close, I need to keep the furnaces burning and generators running. Oh, she's all spooked. So now they fly away? Hmm. What happens if I go outside to confront them? Hello? Oh! Light hurts the sphere. That's its weakness. So... That's what you can do with the- you need a tool. With the- the, uh, the flashlight. Okay, so that actually does have a use like that. Okay. Interesting. Well, that's- I mean, that's cool to see. I'm glad we got to see a little bit of the slight supernatural elements up a little bit further. Pinball machine! Let's take a load off. Nope, we can't. But, yeah, I mean, that's that's cool. It's a cool, different kind of enemy. It's not your typical sort of alien. Now, there's our lockpick. Sleep. Nah. Let's walk, just clear out this room right here. We do have an axe. I imagine that'll work for this. But you know what? We can actually just take her to... Where was it with the lock cabinet? This one? Let's do it. Wait, we have a crowbar? When did we get a crowbar? When did that happen? Did that just happen? Or am I insane? This, ro uh, this room is not warm. Oh wait, no it is warm, it's not light. I don't, th I mean I don't think we're gonna be in this room long enough to justify even messing around there. So, I think the smart thing to do would have been to, uh, to have the people split up and explore different houses. I mean, complete opposite of the horror movie trope here. But yeah, see, this is the, uh, this is what happens if the room is not like, sorry about the, uh, vacuum. <laughs> I, do, I always do that. The, uh, the lawnmower. It's a, gr the grass vacuum in the background there. Now I can take the key to the exit and get out of here. Let's give that a go. Do we have to take the time to actually search this, though? I wish we had two jackets. But that really goes to show you how much of a difference it can make to have the different characters. We'll just leave them sitting in here for just a second. Oh, they're both good already. Oops. It's hard to tell which direction we... What is this? Looks like an egg sack. I... We'll find out. 
We'll take a look at that and then we'll probably call it for the quick play, but uh, I hope my impressions are coming off strongly. I, I'm very, I'm very pleased with the game and it's coming from a, a place of, uh, you know, somebody who's not typically into it. How many times can I say that? I don't know, but it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It seems like maybe even a good introductory kind of thing. I have heard that sometimes the randomization doesn't lend itself well. Explorers are ready to move forward. Do you want to go? Won't be able to go back. Let's leave just to see sort of what happens here. If the building isn't warming up, make sure its windows and doors are closed. See, I like that too. That's a nice touch. Alright. Let's poke. I love that little animation. Like, it seems like there's, uh, the graphic design team had, like, a little bit of a sense of humor with some of it. I feel warm inside, which is strange because it's freezing here. Why are you not getting warm, though? Okay, so that didn't do too much of anything. Let's head inside this building just to see if there's anything special going on in there. It's like a science lab, and there's, like, a snowflake building. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I like that. Even the the buildings are kind of different from place to place. That's a nice touch, too. And even how your character has the snowy model and they slowly, slowly, you know, they, here, I'll, I'll even just show it directly. You step outside, you slowly get the little frost on you, you step inside to a warm area, slowly melts off. That's just, those kinds of nice touches elevate a game from you know, your typical indie game to, you know, a game that is really special. And I, I really like that. I love those small touches. They The UI is totally acceptable, good even. Um, it looks nice. I mean, it's it looks nice while still being stylized, so it's not, like, s forgettable. I mean, I don't know. I just have a lot of nice things to say about this game. I'm not I'm not being paid to to say this stuff at all. I just I've, I'm very pleased. And I think it's definitely worth checking out if you're interested in it. I will leave the link to the Steam page in the description. The game is out now. I think it's uh I don't want to I don't want to say the price. Just check the price for yourself because you know, you might be in a different area. It might not, might not be US dollars. Also, I don't know exactly what it is off the top of my head, but it's not, it's not wildly expensive or anything, uh, and I like it a lot. If, as much as my recommendation matters, which it doesn't, you'll know based off of watching this video if you thought that actually looks like something I'd be interested in, and if it is, please do yourself the favor of picking it up in that case. But that is going to do it for today. If you want to see more quick plays from me, or if you want to see let's plays of any type games, usually roguelite, like I said, that is pretty loose, though. But the games I cover are pretty loose. So, subscribe if you want to get updates about that stuff. Uh, likes and comments if you're interested. Thank you, buddy, for watching, though. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.